Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 32 at chapter 9. Chapter 9 is about the leader momentum. There we can see the person, the mass of the person is given. It just land on a firm ground after jump from a height. So this one, we can see the initial velocity for the person is given, initial position is given. Then this person just land on the ground, right? We need to find the velocity when the head is ground. We don't know, and the position uh, is zero. It just land on ground. And finally, this person just keep stationary. The velocity is zero, and why should we? We don't know. In this one, first one, we need to find the impulse. By the impulse, during this person just uh, uh, experienced when he lands on this ground from the V2 to stationary. It seems we need to find V2 first. How can we do that? The energy is conserved, agree? So initial energy equal to final energy zero, and then we input as known quantities V1 at zero, Y2 at zero, we can get the V2 there. Now, can we find impulse? Sure, impulse is just a change of the momentum. So we use mv3 minus mv2, and there we get it. This one is negative 5.0, uh, 500 kilogram meter per second. This negative sign tells us the direction about this velocity change, right? And uh, it's, it's just as the direction for the impulse. The second one tells us uh, if this uh, land is a stiff, stiff legged, so that means the stiff legged it tell us the it just changes the uh, it just changes one centimeter during the impact. So stiff egg legs it tell us it changes one point zero centimeters. So Y three is negative zero point zero one meter. Can you find the average velocity? Sure. And because in this one, we can see the mass is given, agree? And we know when the person land on the ground, the force acting on the person, first one is the force, the ground to support the person, the normal force minus the gravity, mg, equal to mass times acceleration, agree? Yes, and then this acceleration is easy because um, we know the initial v2, we know v3, we know y2, we know y3, use our favorite equation, we can get acceleration. Then we can input the acceleration, get the average force, this one. This negative side tells us the direction for this force. The third one is ask us with the bend legs. What that means, bend legs? Bend legs means the, uh, it just uh, changes 50 centimeters, so Y3 becomes negative 0 0.05 meter. Can you find the force? Sure. And then, still same thing, we can use the force equal to gravity plus the mass times acceleration. The acceleration can be the, this one use our favorite equation, V3 squared minus V2 squared, and use our favorite equation divided by 2 delta Y. And then we get acceleration equal to this one. And input is acceleration. We can get the final answer there. Thank you.